Um, I have three today. Two are new, and one is old. So. You're as paralyzing as the water and as vast as the sky, and I'm caught between your riptide and Milky Way. Lost inside the galaxies above and below, I often wonder if this is where heaven and earth get to meet. Even if it's just the brushing of their lips, I can tell the devil I've tasted heaven without having to die for it. And maybe that's the beauty in all of this. You have the power to kill me and didn't. It's starting to feel like I'm in the third act of the final performance of this production of Frankenstein. And while the crowd has enjoyed watching me play chemistry set with my body, I can feel the stitches starting to pop and fear I might fall apart before the final lines of this play play out the way they always have been. For soon I shall die, and what I now feel will be no longer felt. Soon these burning miseries will be extinct. I, both monster and creator, will end these tragedies in a dazzling display of flames that will consume every unwarranted and unwanted attribute designed to leave the crowd feeling compassion for every awful thing I've done. Because what is a story without redemption, and am I only worthy of it if I have to die for it? Woo! This one's the old one people who haven't seen it yet. I've been loaded like a shotgun for as long as I can remember. Endless shells of expectations and limitations ran through my body at lightning speed. I never noticed the rust growing. Or maybe if it was always there. Perhaps something I inherited from my mother that painted me the same color of wild woman that drove my dad to burn me at the stake for all the sins that were never mine to hold, but was the only one around to take. Don't Be Your Mother is the only song he would sing me from the time I was a child. It's no wonder I ended up being just like him. My therapist calls this an overcorrection, a thing children do in order to be accepted by the people we love. We reflect them back to themselves like little toy mirrors in hopes that when they see themselves in us, it makes us easier to love. But when the reflection painted his face a shade of avoidance and drunken mistakes, I was the one who cracked ended up poison filled and left at the top of the stairs in an effort to prove I could never be him, so what I showed him couldn't be true. It was then I realized I didn't want to end up the angry man in my own house, the one well liked by everyone except his own family. And so I left. I found my way through endless seas of people and places to ironically find a fate I can't seem to outrun. I may not be my father, but I sure do look a lot like him. 